Okay, um, annealing the uh, burger VLD is not a great deal different to uh, annealing brass in a pan of water. I've got my little pan of water here and it's just enough to cover the uh, projectile up to the uh, ogre. I'm going to put a nut in the pan. If you want to do multiple projectiles then put in several nuts or a, di a diameter that's um, large enough to house the projectile. That helps the projectile sit upright. Start up our blowtorch. So the purpose of the pan of water is to stop the uh, lead from popping out of the top of the projectile, which would happen otherwise, because we're going to take this up to considerable heat. I'm actually looking for a colour change in the projectile. The purpose of this is to weaken the tip of the VLD. So that uh, at long range we get full fragmentation under minimal resistance. You do really have to make sure that it's heated up and that you've got some colour change. We're just getting um, a brass colour through to blue, a brassy blue colour. So that's just about it for this projectile. It's pretty much ready to go. It'd be easier for you guys to do this at night if you're not familiar with um, annealing and looking for colour. Okay, so the burger is annealed. Um, the most important thing now is to make sure that it cools down naturally, so don't tip it into the water. Um, either pull it out with a welding glove and place it on a soft rag, or just let it cool down for a while. This one's actually cooled down enough for me to handle it now. And um, we'll zoom in on it a moment and have a look at that actual colour change. Okay, so hopefully you can see there is a colour change through this area here. And you can see the watermark on the burger. So that's ready to go for long range hunting. The other option is to use a meat plate trimmer and trim the uh, burger back to a diameter of about 70 thou. And that will really ensure um, full fragmentation at long range. Yes there will be a sacrifice in BC, probably of about 0 0.05, but you have to make a call. Um, there's no point being able to hit an animal at long range but uh, not being able to kill it because you've created a pinhole wound. So if you're using the burger at extreme ranges, make sure you um, either anneal it or trim the um, meat plate back and recalculate your BCs. Um, and that will ensure that it does do a, a good job at producing a clean kill.